Welcome to B&B RV. We're in Denver, Colorado, 8101 East 40th Avenue, just off I-70. Today we're going to walk around the Delano. Uh, it's a Thor product built on the Mercedes chassis. And uh, we'll go around the outside here and show you. Sorry this one still has a few bugs, just got delivered. We haven't had time to get it washed up, but we want to show you around it while we've got my famous cameraman here. On the outside, this first one is your propane. This is uh, something they're going to do for you at either a campground, a truck stop, U-Haul, some place that uh, sells propane, they'll fill that for you. It's not a self-serve thing. This is the back of a furnace. This is another big storage area. So in our rental units, you're going to get a set of leveling blocks. So when you park, you need to get level for the fridge in these. And so that's what these blocks are in the back here. Just these wooden blocks. And it's actually three steps. So you can just put this in front of whichever wheel is low. So if the front's low, the back's low, the side's low. Put those boards in front of those low wheels and just drive up one or two or three notches. And we'll have a level inside for you so you can, uh, you can see when you're level without having to be outside or anything. We're going to include four camp chairs with all of our rentals. So you'll have camp chairs in these units. This is the cable, the cord. So this cord is for electricity. It's going to come, it's going to plug in here, and then it's other end's going to plug into the 30 amp outlet at the campground. If you're going to try to plug into a home outlet somewhere, there is an adapter for that, but you can only run certain things and the main thing that you cannot run if you're not plugged into the 30 amp is the air conditioner. It just doesn't have enough power. It'll cause problems, it'll melt that in. So if you're camped at a campground, you're all fine. If you're trying to plug into a house somewhere, a friend's house while you're staying, you can't run the air conditioner that way. You would have to run the generator to get power for the air conditioner. There's a cable in here for cable TV. If you're gonna do that at the campground and there's a hose for uh, your fresh water for refilling or hooking up to the water at the campground. This one is just an extra storage for you. So you have all your keys on here for your different uh, different locks. This just houses the generator which all runs from inside the unit so you don't need to access that while you're out. Inside of this compartment is your uh, dump hose. So your dump hose is stored there. Uh, when, you, when your tanks get full or you're ready to dump, you have two tanks. You have a gray tank and a black tank. The gray tank is your sinks and showers and the black tank is your toilet. So you're gonna take your hose out and you're gonna take this cap off, hook your hose on here, put your hose into the ground in the drain and then on here, this back one right here is your black tank. And you're just gonna pull it straight out and let that black tank drain. When it's drained, close it. And be careful, because if you run in your generator, that's your generator exhaust and it'll get real hot. After you've closed your black tank, this is your gray tank. Go ahead and pull that and let that gray tank, the water from your sinks and shower, it's a little soapier, rinse out that hose for you. And then when you're done, close that, take the hose off, put it back in here, and put the cap back on. So you have onboard water, and you can use onboard water, or you can just hook the hose up directly at the campground and use pressurized water. And it's okay to hook the hose up at the campground, but you really don't wanna just hook up your dump hose and try to leave that hooked up. It really doesn't work. You wanna collect everything in your holding tanks and then dump it. So in here, you can um, hook up, you're gonna hook up your hose to this side. So hook up your water hose to this side and then you've got your, um, your drawings here so you know exactly what to do. If you're gonna just use city pressurized water, it's here where it says city water. So you can have one facing this way and one facing this way. If you're just gonna use the onboard water, which they call dry camp, Gonna have this one down and this one this way. If you want to refill the onboard tank, right here at tank fill, 
and you're gonna push this one down and this one over. So really just look at the picture, match the picture, sanitize. Um, that's not gonna be, you typically won't need to do that. Um, so you just probably, and while you're out, you're gonna use tank fill, um, dry camp, and city water. So dry camp is where you're gonna use the water while you're out. And this one's tank fill, you're gonna refill it when you use it all up. And that's all there is to the water in here. This black one up here is a tank flush. So your black tank has a sprayer in it. If you hook up a hose here, it'll spray into that tank and rinse it out. Because in that black tank and the gray tank, there's just little screws that are the sensors to show how full the tank is. And um, especially in that black tank, toilet paper and such can hold up on those little uh, sensor screws and it'll show that there's something in there when there's not. So, you know, I just dumped this thing and it says it's third full, but it's something hanging up on that sensor. And so that'll rinse that tank out if you want to try that. Um, if you're going to hook up to cable TV in here, it says SAT for satellite. That's where you would hook up that cable and then on your TV tell it that you're in the mode cable. Uh, and in here there's a water pump because you got this little shower. So if you need to rinse something off out here before you go back in and the water pumps off inside, you can turn the water pump on here to get water out of your onboard tank. And there's a light. It's a light in here that's also operated up there with the control panel. So that's the entire water. On the back there is a ladder, but this is emergency use only. Don't get up on top. Unless you have an emergency, it's uh, very, very slippery when it's wet. Little storage compartment for you here. You'll see down here there's a quick release for gas connection. Primarily for when somebody buys the unit. That can be hooked up to an outside grill. But that can't be just a typical household grill. It has to be an RV grill because they have different um, regulators on them. That's just your exhaust and your tire, another big storage. And then on the outside here, we've got a couple of outlets. So if you have this uh, plugged into electricity or have the generator on, then you have electricity and you'd have outlets that are hot here that you can plug things into out here on your patio side. And so that's the outside of the Delano. And we can go look at the inside. So as you come in to... Um, the entry door here, you're gonna notice these two buttons on the bottom and the main power. This one is your main battery disconnect. You want this to be on at all times. You want this red light to be on at all times. And these are for stabilizer jacks on the rear side of the RV so that it doesn't rock so much. These are not leveling jacks. They're stabilizer jacks. So you can push this button and they'll go down Push it the other way, obviously they'll go up. You just want to put these down to be firm on the ground so that the RV won't rock back and forth while you're walking around or if the wind's blowing a little. And uh, it's extremely important that with these jacks, if you have these down and you start up the engine to go take off, you're going to bend them and they're not going to come up and now you're in a real pickle, they won't come up. So make sure you pull these up before you start the engine and drive off. And so just push up to go all the way up. And they're not to level this front to back or side to side. They're only to stabilize it. So you only want to put those down to where they would be um, touching. You don't want to kind of try to raise or lower anything with it. And you have a switch for a step light here. And this is just an inverter that you don't need to do any changes on. Um, Inside you'll have, or this is, I'm sorry, this, we can edit that. And this is your solar charger. So this unit has a solar panel on the roof and this helps keep your batteries charged and tells you what your battery is as well as your control panel up above will tell you the status of your battery. So this is the control panel on the uh, inside of the Delano on the Mercedes chassis here. You can see that you have uh, a lot of different buttons. This is your home button. Your lights you can turn on and off. You can check your tanks, fresh water, gray tank, black tank, propane. Turn on your water pump, turn on your tank heaters. 
So your water pump you're going to want to use if you're using onboard water for anything, shower, toilet, sink. Tank heaters are for winter use uh, to keep the tanks from freezing, but when you use those tank heaters, they use quite a bit of electricity, so you'll want to be plugged into electricity or have the generator on when you're using those. Um, tells you the levels of your batteries. You can start and stop your generator. And then you have separate buttons to use for individual things, looking at the uh, statistics on your generator, your voltages, your lights. Again, all on or all off. You can just turn them on right here. And you can turn individual ones on too, just one at a time. Cargo, you probably don't need on step well, front awning, exterior step. So you have individual lights or master, and this again is your uh, cooling. It's a hot day here in Denver today, 103 in this thing as we came out to video. You can set your temperature right here, so um, you know set that thing at uh, 65 or 68 or wherever you feel comfortable uh, while you're using it. This is the mode, it's on cool now. You'll see furnace down here below or auto. So we're on cool with the fan on high. This is your slides. So this has an awning for extend and retract. If you use that awning, which we recommend you don't, but if you use that awning, do not leave the RV with that awning out. Make sure that awning is in. Anytime you leave, if a gust of wind comes up, try to get it in because the wind will tear those off pretty easily. Um, this is your slide room, so you're going to just hit extend. We're going to go ahead and extend this slide while we're sitting here so we can show you the rest of the RV. And you just hold this button down. This is a large slide, so it's a, what they call a full wall slide. The entire wall is sliding out. Your dinette, wardrobe and storage in the middle, your bed in the back. And this is going to uh, go all the way out to the wall. It's a deep slide, as you can tell by the depth of the dinette. Once this gets all the way out, you can let go. It'll, uh, you'll see and hear it as it pushes up with the big rubber seal up against the wall. It's almost there now. There you go, that's how long it takes to set up camp, get that bed all the way out. And um, right below your control center is your um, sound system. You can pair that to your uh, phone. So let's start up here in the front and work our way to the back. So. The Delano is built on the Mercedes chassis. This is a diesel unit, so you want to make sure you put diesel in it if you're out using this. It's got the keys for it here. Just a lock and an unlock. And keys for the compartments on the side. The way to start this one is put your foot on the brake, push the start engine, and um, everything lights up and comes back to... Uh, the base uh, for your um, gauges. You've got a lot of the volume and cruise control on your steering wheel. So Mercedes has started to blend a little bit more together. They're commercial with their retail units. And so instead of having the big transmission here now, this is actually your transmission. So you'll see right here that you put this up for reverse in the middle for neutral and down for drive and you just push in the end for park. So be sure you pay attention to that. That's, that's the whole transmission. Make sure you have your foot on the brake. Um, lights are here, mirrors, windows, everything else is pretty standard. Um, it's got the backup camera here in your mirror so you can always see what's behind you. Um, got the big radio and uh, information here. We don't have these hooked up to um, to any any um, uh, GPS. So your GPS you can use on your phone, and everything else is fairly standard up here. 
Oh, the one thing that is a little different on these units is on the side of the seat, there's a lumbar adjustment. And this little cushion can adjust in the front, but the main adjustment for your seats are here. You can see there's three memory settings, but then, you know, you can change it back, change it forward and backward. But the buttons for your seat are here on the door, not on the seat. Otherwise, that's pretty standard up here. You got your lights. Um, let's turn this back off. Yeah, here where I can reach up above. So this cushion fits into this hole here to make your bed. And there's a ladder to go up, to get up and down. And of course you've got a shade up there on the front. You've got windows on each side. We have the curtains on those right now. So when you put this away, just make sure you don't shove it up too hard, but shove it up enough and make sure this ladder is secure so it's not gonna come flying back as you drive. We keep the remotes for your television here. Your television's right up here on this one. The remotes are here. You got some charging uh, stations there. So this is upgraded to uh, what's called the Dream Dinette. There's no leg underneath. It just has a hydraulic arm on the wall there. So there's this lock right here. This little lever will loosen this and allow this to just slide down. So you're gonna slide this all the way down to these two rails on each side. So you just move this cushion out of the way, slide it down to here. And then you're gonna lift it back up when you're done and lock this. Make sure you lock that so that it just stays up for you. These cushions here will lay in the middle when you're making this a bed. So this cushion and this cushion. These will lift up to extend. I'm not a big fan of these. I wouldn't put a lot of weight on that. So when you lift this up, it can extend this out a little further. But be careful how much weight you're putting on that. Um, got storage up above these. Unit's going to have a fly swatter and a lighter and matches and a manual. We write our own manuals for these. Anything and everything in here is covered in the manual. Uh, so if you have any issues while you're out, we try to make that easy. We do it on paper still because you're off and out where you don't have access to get on to uh, drive or internet or any kind of video. Just more storage above the kitchen. Your sink, storage under the kitchen. Microwave, another drawer for storage. This is your cooktop. So your uh, two burners are here. Your fridge in this one has a mode setting and uh, oops got to turn it on first to get to the mode so this is your on and off this one now says mode automatic and you want to leave that in automatic mode right now it's showing that it's using electricity because we have the generator running so it's using electricity anytime you're plugged into electricity you have the generator on this will be running on electricity when you shut that off or unplug it, it's automatically going to switch back to gas. I would just leave this on automatic and it'll switch back and forth. If this green light is not on, that you just want to make sure what's going on. Turn it off, turn it back on. It'll typically start uh, up right away by doing that. Then there's the cold temperature. Again, this time of year, you're going to want to have it turned all the way up. But if it's too cold, you just press this for one, two, three, four, and five. So uh, the freezer's on top and the fridge is down here. And uh, this will be on for you before you come and pick up your RV for rental. So it'll all be cold, ready for you to put food into. Your bathroom is in here. We include a, a little bucket with some cleaning supplies for you and a small broom. There's a trash can for you. Your toilet is called a foot flush, so you're just going to press this pedal with your foot. You can see how that opens. If you're hooked up to water or have the water pump on, that's going to flush for you, and it'll flush just as long as you hold that down. And you can close the lid under here. Just more storage. This is where we're going to have toilet paper and chemical for you in a rental. And on this unit, uh, the water heater is 
controls are right here. Um, it's going to sometimes look to you like it's on because this red light is on. Um, actually, that's not on. So you want to turn it on and it'll all light up. And this green light will come on. This is just a change from centigrade to Fahrenheit. We're just going to have it at Fahrenheit. You can see it's a little warm in here today, 118. Um, but what you or no, I'm sorry, this is the hot water. So yeah, the hot water would be about 118 is what we recommend that you leave that on. And um, I think the inside of the coach is about 118 as well. Turn it back off. You just press the button again, to turn it off. There is an outlet in here. Any outlet that's by a water source has to be a, a G, uh, GCI, a ground fault interrupt. And um, just push the center of that. If somehow that gets tripped, you're just going to reset those. If for some reason the outlet in the bathroom and probably in the kitchen doesn't work, it just needs to be reset. This one also has a fan up here that you can run with the switch here too. And uh, you can just open it manually to exhaust. Turn that off. You got the light switch in here that um, you can control with that or with your main light switch out there. This one has a lot of storage here in the middle. You got the wardrobe. It's very deep as you can see. It's got a bar and a closet with some adjustable shelving. And then three big drawers down below. This one has uh, the fold up bed, which allows us to have the entire room slide in and out. So this bed is held up with this cord here. So you just drop this bed down when you're ready. And this is a full queen bed in the back. The operational windows around. A couple of plug-ins off to the side here. And another TV in the back. And you also have the panel here for your controls for your lights back here. And on the back here, this control panel um, is your lights, master lights on and off, and your bedroom lights, and your ceiling lights for the middle so that when you come to bed you can shut off all the lights back here. There is an overhead fan back here for just more exhaust. And then when you go ahead and put this bed up, you want to really make sure that you, uh, you put this bungee in here and it just flips right in behind this little clip. That'll keep this bed up because when you slide this in, you don't want that bed <coughs> excuse me, flopping in and out against the wall. So I have a fan here, a fan here. I have another fan in the bathroom for exhaust. And um, this is our Delano. It's 24 foot long, made uh, on a Mercedes chassis by Thor here at B&B RV in Denver. Thanks for watching.